What's up guys, Dirty here, and I'm basically doing a commentary today because a couple of things, uh, I've been doing an all-nighter and I'm a bit bored so doing this for you and I might sound a bit dull because it's hot as crap right now, it's like 30 something degrees and it's 4 in the morning, it's ridiculous man. But anyways, this is basically a commentary today on how to do well in Team Deathmatch, and Team Deathmatch specifically. This isn't this won't apply for all game modes as it just applies for Team Deathmatch. As this is basically the only game type I really play a lot. And I think that because I've played it a lot I know a bit about it. But I'm not saying I know everything about it. So basically some tips on what I do to try to do well in Team Deathmatch to get kills above 30, uh, even up into the 40 range. Um, it's a bit hard to get to the 40 range if you're pining up with some people, but I'll explain it all. So basically what you want to do is you want to start off, I start off and usually go on with two people, myself and a friend. And a friend is usually to the same skill level or higher than you. Generally you want to be lower so you obviously get more points, but you don't want to uh, discard friends because they're better than you. So what you want to do is party up with a friend and then you just want to set your class up to do the specialist. Um, it's boosting kind of, it's not boosting, but it's a fast way to level up. So the boot, the specialist XP version. So that's the strike package you want specialist. Uh, if you want I'll put a link in the description on how to set up the class the way I have and it basically tells you how to rank up faster using this class. And it's I don't use it. I use the standard streaks because I hadn't unlocked it yet. I was only level 40 this morning. But you want to do that and the couple things you want to realize is you don't want to charge enemies because when they're spawning if you run to them they're going to realize that and pick it up. So they're going to keep waiting for you to come to them, which is not what you want. Instead, what you want is for them to be coming to you. And you'll, if you don't, if you have an unsuppressed gun like my do right now, as you start killing lots of enemies in one spot, they'll pick up that you're in the spot. They'll start coming for you. And as long as you keep moving around, they won't. It'll be hard for them to kill you. But one thing that I always, that is so easy and it helps so much towards out shooting people is when you're running at a person, see like I'm running at him right now, I kind of run straight at him, but as soon as he starts shooting me, I strafe left and right. And how to do that is when you're walking towards the enemy with your left stick forward, you want to move it left and right, left and right, left and right. Because if you're playing lesser quality players like a bunch of noobs I am right now, if you keep moving left and right, it's way harder for them to try land a shot. But if you run in a straight line, they're just going to nail you because anyone can shoot someone who's running straight at you, right? So if you go left, right, left, right, left, right, that's a really easy tip and you'll find you'll out shoot a lot more people than you usually would if you just go left, right, left, right. And um, so yeah, you want to let them come to you and make sure you strafe, strafe walk. That's a couple of tips. And one of the things you want to realize, um, an obvious thing, is where you, well, it's, it's end up three, this won't always apply, but where you aren't is where the enemy is. So if your team is in one area of the map, if you look on your um, the mini map and you see there's no none of your teammates in a certain area there is bound to be a bunch of enemies so you always want to keep thinking where I'm not is where they are except for this is Modern Warfare 3 so they could really spawn anywhere but on bigger maps the general rule is they're gonna spawn where you aren't so what you want to do is you want to push up to a vantage point where you can see where they're coming from but they don't have a good view on you, but you've got enough distance so they're not going to run around and panic knife you because that'll get you really worked up, is panic knifing. So what you want to do is keep your distance and have as little as your body is showing and stand behind a solid um, barrier. So a little metal sheet or something isn't going to cut it. You want to stand behind a big box or something they can't shoot through or it's going to take a lot more bullets for them to shoot you through. So now we know that we're going to use, use the class you want to let them come to you, they're going to be where you're not. And with Team Deathmatch it's all about kills, so you don't really have to play the objective. But the easiest way to rip through a team if you're not really good and really confident is you work in pairs. So the guy you've partied up with, because with two, per two good reasonable people playing this game, you can win a game. If you both get 20 to 30 kills each, you are more than likely to win a game, and I know you'll have some people on your team who will go 1 and 14 or 2 and 13 or something ridiculous. But you'll have a very high chance of winning the game. And what you want to do is work with your partner. So as you're running around the map, be close to each other so you can call out if enemies are coming towards you, but not so close that you're having butt sex, right? 
So when you're walking around, if one dies, basically it gives the other one the opportunity to take him out, and the other guy will eventually catch up to him, and you'll work around in pairs. So if you've got like a party of six people, you can work with pairs of... So you've got three pairs, so you can just run around the map. And what you want to do is get the enemy... You don't want to encroach into their spawn. If you encroach into their spawn, they're obviously going to start spawning in random spots. That's not what you want. You want them to keep spawning in an area, unless you obviously you are into rushing, and I do it sometimes, especially with a suppressed gun. It's very easy to start rushing them if they're not that good because they look at the minimap a lot. So do I. I definitely use the minimap as an easy way to figure out where the enemies is. The enemies are, sorry. So uh, an easy way to always know where the enemies are is have someone have a UAV on. And it may seem really simple, but if you know where the, if you have UAV goes sweep goes past and you can't see anyone because they're all dead. Sweep goes past, bingo, you see them, you run to them, and you'll start killing them. So um, hopefully, these little tips and pointers have helped you out, and you learn, learn them, and keep going by them, and just practice and practice and practice, play more, play more, pwn those noobs. And I'll put a link in the description on the class that I use to help rank up faster, and I use this class in Team Deathmatch a lot, basically the only class I use. So remember those few things. Use that class, and you'll definitely be on your way to become a better TDM player. And that's all for me.